So when Jesus said, that's, that's actually repeated at least four times in the New Testament. Let your yea be yea, your nay be nay. Paul actually took that phrase from Christ, and he actually modified it. In one, I think it's in Corinthians, Paul actually said, you know, people say, let your, you know, Christ said, let your yea and your nay be yes and no. But I'm going to come to you and tell you, I don't even say no, because everything in Christ is yea, is yes. But he wasn't taking away from that. He was trying to amplify on it and say, hey, when Jesus said, let your yes be yes and your no be no, what he was telling you is, stop lying. Don't say something is when it is not. Don't have to explain and mollycoddle and, and apologize and then, and then color it a little better and then twist it and then say, well, this is my position on that. Have you all been listening to some of the politicians for this election? Have you noticed how a handful of them interviewed never actually answer the question? What do you think, sir, uh, that we should do about the border? Listen, we've got to respect all people. Okay, that's a good start. It's time that we stop looking down at people and treat, treating people like second-class citizens, right? We've got a few thousand people coming to the border. Oh, we're waiting on an answer. What should be done? We've got to learn to respect people. I'm tired of people not respecting people. We've got to respect, respect, respect. So in other words, you're not going to answer the question. I'm answering the question. You're just not listening. No, not really. I keep waiting on what you're going to come up with as a solution. You're not letting your yes be yes and your no be no. You're just, just a whole lot of noise. You're, you're just, uh, well, I hate to use that bull thing, but, you know, like a bull's horns, you're a point here and a point there. A whole lot of bull in between. You're not yay and yay and nay and nay. You're not being honest. You're, you're trying to convince somebody that you're kind of their direction. Here's the typical politician and sometimes preacher of today. Oh, oh wind's coming from over here. Yes, sir, here's what we need to do. Now, what I mean is scared to say the truth. Scared to just let your yes be a yes and your no be a no. And nothing in between. Just here's the simple truth. And that's what you have to do if you want to be real. Mm -hmm.